December 16th. Today we keep the memory of the holy prophet Haggai. When the Persian king Cyrus conquered the Babylonian Empire in 539 before Christ, he was moved by God to send back the Jews held captive since the fall of Jerusalem in 586 so that they might rebuild the temple under the direction of Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah, and of Joshua, the high priest. Upon their return to the holy city, those delivered from bondage reinstated divine worship as the law required and set to work on the rebuilding. But discouraged by the opposition and threats of the surrounding population, they left off working until the reign of Darius, Therefore, the holy prophets Haggai and Zacharias were raised up by God to stir them to renewed activity. Haggai, who came of the priestly tribe of Levi, had been born in Babylon and accompanied the first of the Jews on their return to Jerusalem. He was inspired by God to make known to Zerubbabel, to Joshua, and to all the people that the drought they were suffering from had been sent by the Lord to punish them for having abandoned the rebuilding of the temple. God predicted by the mouth of his prophet that he would dwell in all his glory and splendor in this building, symbolic of the everlasting spiritual temple which is the church, the body of Christ. In urging the Jews to get back to work, the prophet addresses us Christians also who have been delivered from bondage by the new covenant. Go up to the hills, he says, and bring wood and build the house that I may take pleasure in it and that I may appear in my glory. But instead of stones and timber and nails, it is ourselves, our conscience, soul, spirit and heart that we must bring as living stones to be built into the spiritual temple of the church. The Holy Prophet forewarns of the cosmic upheavals that will precede the final abiding of the glory of God in his restored temple. He writes, once again, in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, so that the treasures of all nations shall come in, and I will fill this house with splendor. Haggai then addresses Zerubbabel, who prefigures the coming Messiah, telling of the Father's delight in him and that he has made him as a ring to seal with his image and to recapitulate in himself all things in heaven and on earth. Blessed is our God always and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, the ages Amen. As we celebrate the memory of thy prophet, Hagai, O oh 
Lord. Through him we beseech thee to save our souls. Let us chant to him a victory unto God who led Israel to freedom through the Red Sea, for he has been glorified. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. Most godlike in form, thou stands before God as a true prophet. Do thou remember them that honor thine august memorial with hymns? O blessed Haggai. Holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for Building us. Building thyself up on the secure foundation of virtues, O blessed of God. Thou is dedicated as a living temple. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thy most pure mind ever beheld God as far as it is possible, it glistened brightly with the graces that issue thanks, so blessed prophet. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Virgin conceived thee in her womb, O Word of God, who formerly was motherless, and she brought thee forth after the flesh as a fatherless son. The Church of Christ has been established on faith, and with unceasing hymns she exultantly cries out, Holy art thou, O Lord, who savest our souls. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. With divine power thou hast freed us from grievous captivity unto demons, O Saviour, and thou dost show us to be thy hallowed temples which cry out, Holy art thou who saves our souls. Holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. He that dwells in the highest and fills the whole world, O prophet, shows thee to be a temple of holiness which cries out, Holy art thou who saves our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The divine Spirit, who apportions grace unto all, dwelling in thy heart, teaches thee to cry, Holy art thou, O Lord, who saves our souls. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that by a word wisely fashioned the whole creation is fashioned from thee like us, O Mother of God, becoming man for compassion's sake, even he the friend of man. Since thy mind had been illuminated, by the Holy Spirit, O Haggai, thou first oldest God's mysteries in prophecies, and didst reveal indications of things to come, while making plain the fulfillment of future deeds. O oh, blessed and great prophet, do thou entreat Christ God, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure and only Virgin Mother, as the words divine and sacred dwelling, thou surpassest the angels in purity. But as for me, who surpass all in sinfulness, and by my sins of the flesh am defiled and stained. Wash me clean with the divine waters of thy mighty prayers, and grant great mercy unto me, O modest maid. I have heard report of thee, O Lord, for thou hast appeared upon the earth to save us, Wherefore we cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. Through thy prophet, O Christ, thou didst intimate the living temple which thou wast to take unto thyself from a virgin. And with Haggai, we cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. Thou hast gathered together us who are cast away, O Lord, and thou hast freed us from bondage to the enemy, even as the God-inspired prophet says. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through thy prophet, O Christ, thou didst darkly show the salvation of the nations which was to come to pass in later times, 
and he cried out to the glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst change Adam's curse into blessing, O Lady, when thou gavest birth to Christ for our sakes, unto whom we cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. I rise early and cry to thee, O compassionate Lord, having illumined my soul, which had been darkened by sins, by the light of thy commandments, guide and direct it. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. By thine intercessions, O blessed Haggai, set us firm upon the rock of thy doctrines, and as we keep thy light-giving festival, deem us worthy to become temples of the living God. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. As benefactor, O Lord, grant us thy peace, that we might gain possession of that peace of soul, which the divine Haggai foretold of in the divine Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Great indeed shall be the glory of the Church above that of the former synagogue of Israel, when the Word shall become flesh and dwell with man. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O blessed and glorified Mother, who never knew man, quicken thou my soul, which is slain with sins, and buried under the incontinency of passions. Jonas cried out from the belly of Hades, Raise my life from corruption. As for us, we cry to thee, O Almighty Saviour, have mercy on us. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. While teaching godliness with the youthful zeal, O blessed Haggai, thou didst raise up the sanctified temple unto the Master of all, promising an abundance of good things. Holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. Out of the lowest pit thou hast led man from his far captivity, O Saviour, and hast drawn him up unto the city on high, since thou art the friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Delighting in the brightness of the Spirit, O prophet, thou didst declare those things that it befit man to perform, and didst instruct us in the statues of piety. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Adam fell by consent, he was cut out of paradise, but when the Word became flesh of the Virgin, he called him again and led him back to the delight on high. Illumined in mind with streams of light from heaven's heights, thou brightly did shine in prophecy throughout the world, and in manifesting types of Christ's dispensation which was to come, thou becamest illustrious. O prophet Haggai, wise in things divine. Cast into the fiery furnace the venerable children, transform the fire into dew, crying out thus in hymnody, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. When thou had cleansed thy mind, thou didst truly receive the rays of the Spirit, O prophet, manifestly prophesying and crying out, Blessed are thou, O Lord, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, beholding thee, living a very sacred life, brings thee forward as a prophet of his coming, as thou dost cry, Blessed are thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that saved the three children in the fiery furnace, himself having dwelt in thy womb, O Virgin, saves thou who trust in him while crying out, Blessed, O all pure, is the fruit of thy womb. The only beginningless King of glory, whom the powers of heaven bless, and before whom the orders of angels tremble, Praise him, O ye priests, and supremely exalt him, O ye people, unto all the ages. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. With hymns we praise thee, the master of all, whom Haggai the God seer and prophet taught us by example to worship, and to sing to thee praise Christ, O ye priests, 
and supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou didst manifestly declare before that the Word who is without beginning would appear in the last times of God seeing prophet, and thou didst cry a praise, Christ, O you priests, and supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that was once invisible and uncontainable by nature has been contained in thy womb and been seen, O all immaculate virgin. And unto him we cry with faith, Praise Christ, O you priests, and supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. O all him, one, thou art higher than the heavens, for thou hast seedlessly conceived the beginningless word, and given birth unto God incarnate for men. For this cause all we, the faithful, ever magnify thee. O holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for us. When thou hadst tasted the unutterable vision of God, O prophet, thou didst shake off earthly cares, and stood worthily before the most glorified God. Therefore, all with the faithful call thee blessed. Holy prophet Haggai, pray to God for Thine us. Thine inspired and wondrous way of life has set thee in God's presence, O blessed and godly-minded Haggai, and together with the incorporeal choirs thou dost rejoice forever. Therefore, all we the faithful call thee blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It has been given thee as a teacher of piety to be with God, and to be mingled with his utterly unmingled light. Him do thou now beseech, O blessed Haggai, that our souls be delivered from temptation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Past nature, thou verily became the dwelling of the King of all, O birth giver of God, and a golden ark containing the giver of the law, the incarnate Christ. As we celebrate the memory of thy prophet Haggai, O Lord, through him we beseech thee to save our souls. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the holy prophet Haggai and those with him, whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. Let the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 